Okay, here we go. We're on the big uh, crabbing outing today. I told uh, Cousin Rick and Cousin Pat we would uh, send uh, send a movie of some crabs. So here we are. We're just leaving the Douglas Harbor, and right over here you can see a blue heron. He's just sitting up there. I don't know if you can see him yet. He's uh, kind of in the... He'll come into view here in a second. And there he is. Kind of, You can see him there. But those are big, huge birds. Feet on fish. We got our... Uh, uh, rings all baited up. There's four of them there. Dog's nervous. My friend uh, Tim Thomas says I'm a crappy filmmaker, but we're going to give it a shot today. So here we go. It's a nice day for crabbing today. It's flat, calm, no wind. We're going to do good today, I think. I hope. Well, we're out here at, uh, in Gastonot Channel and we've had the rings down. There's my place. We're just crabbing out in front here. There's Pat. There's Larry's. We just pulled up a crab ring here. And, oh, hey, what do you know? There's two of them. Oh, that's pretty good. Two crab right out in front of our place. And you know what? We're going to join them with these two knuckleheads here. This one here, he's not a very happy person. Let's see what he does here. We can get him to open up. Look at him. Oh, he... We nicknamed him Mac Daddy because he's so big. This one's a, a good sized one, and he's full of meat. That one's definitely full of meat. We set this pot kind of deeper, and we got another one, or this ring, I mean. We got another one there. And these are these are too small, so we're going to throw them back. And uh, so there he goes. And then this one down here, he's a little bit too small as well. So we're going to let him grow up a little bit, and then we'll come back and talk to him in a couple of years, or maybe next year. So I'll see ya. Alright, that's all we got for bait right there. And uh, the trick right here is this little container of herring underneath all that stuff, which gives out uh, oil so it, uh, they smell good when they come over. So back in a minute. Okay, we just pulled up to the beach here and we uh, cleaned some crab. This is what they look like after they've been cleaned. That's the top of them there in the water there. There's another one over there somewhere. And then we throw them in the bucket like this. And we got, you know, nice crab going there. So I know they're nothing like the blue claws that they get back in Maryland. Oh boy, those are something else. But I mean, they're small. But anyway, so we've got five so far, and we're going to try to get uh, some more. And there's one of our buoys, if you can see it. And then another one over there, and then two more up there. So. You ready to go, Bob? You ready? Jellyfish, crab, a couple sea urchins. Here's our, our bucket full of crab. I think I have about eight in there now, but I just pulled one up and <coughs> he's uh, he's the I think he's the biggest one we've got today. So we'll do this for a little bit more. I think we've only been out here for I don't know. <coughs> Let's see. We've been out here since uh, about 10 and it's 12:16 now. So a couple hours, eight or nine crab. That's not too. All right, so we're we're still down here and we're still crabbing away, and uh, we're done. Uh, we filled up that bucket right there. It's a scoop away bucket, a kitty litter bucket, but I took the kitty litter out. Anyway, so there we have it. Um, we're gonna take these now and go over to Mike Bard's house. I'm gonna call him on the way and let him know we're coming in, and then uh, we'll cook them cook them up at his house and and. Uh, and that's it. So it's probably almost one. Been down here about three hours, and I think we have about maybe a dozen crab or something like that. And it's just right out in front of the house. So when I retire, this is what I'm going to be doing.
Okay, we're going to pull up into Mike's house here, and now we're going to cook those delicious <laughs> Dungeness crab. Okay, so what we do is we just put the water on the... Usually we have a crab cooker, which is a little different, but this is just on the side of a barbecue works fine. And we're going to throw them in the pot there when this starts to boil. And we'll be back for later. And then, oh, you can never cook crab without having a beer. Okay. There's a lot of strategy involved in getting these crab, as you can tell. Mike is throwing them in there. <laughs> I think there's probably a, a dozen or so in there. Now what we do is we, uh, the water, we brought the water to a boil, now we're going to put the lid back on and we'll bring it to a boil again and once it starts boiling again then we time it for 20 minutes. That's, and then we cool them off and Then we cool them off and uh, eat them. Mike's going to make crab cakes out of them. Okay, so we're boiling the crab now, and, and it started boiling a few minutes ago, so it'll be for 20 minutes. We're going to boil this crab. And then it'll be um, ready to cool down. So, is it heavy? Mike's car, Jeff's truck. So what he's doing here, he's going to empty this hot water out in the ditch. Hopefully a bear won't come by like it did a few weeks ago. The crab is done. Now it's necessary to cool the crab because we don't want it to continue cooking. Do we, Mike? No. We do not want it to keep cooking because then it gets like uh, rubber. We don't want that. So what we're going to do here, <coughs> I'm going to turn this hose on and let her overflow. stop the cooking process and then you can see them right there. Now these are not blue claws like they get in Maryland. Oh, love those blue claws. Can you cool them off? We can let that water run for a while then. Yep. And there's the finished product. Now what Mike's going to do, he's going to take those and uh, take the meat out of them and make crab cakes. And those will last longer. He can freeze those and they'll last a long time. And there we go. From A to C. Okay. There's the crab there. We got some Mike's taking care of business. Right, Mike? <laughs> Mike thinks I'm a nutcase with this camera. <laughs> There's the meat right there. Look at that. That's no blue claw. It's a lot better than blue claw. And then he's going to make some crab cakes with this stuff. New Orleans style crab cake mix. The interesting thing is it calls for mayonnaise in here. And, uh, hmm. We all know how Mike likes mayonnaise. <laughs> Johnny, you'll like that part. <laughs>